Results from one survey released earlier this year indicate that one in five full-time employees, about 21 percent, are looking for a new job. If you're among that group and you enjoy helping others, you might find that the field of therapeutic massage is a good fit. Mike is live at Omaha School of Massage and Healthcare of Herzing University this morning. So what's included in the thera uh, therapeutic massage program there? Easy for me to say, Mike. <laughs> well, yeah, you're asking me? Well, yeah. I got two, two people here that can help answer that question. I got the campus president, Steve Carper and Kayla Spilinek as uh, one of the students here. Thanks for, thanks for allowing us to come into the, the campus here. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. you bet. Steve, I want to start with you. Uh, talk about the history of the campus? Uh, the school was founded back in 1991 and uh, you know at that time it was just massage therapy is what we had. That's, that's our core program. Uh, and then in uh, 2008, June of 2008, we became part of Herzing University which has uh, allowed us to offer a lot more resources to our students and uh, also uh, start an associate degree in therapeutic massage in addition to the diploma. Yeah, you brought it up, therapeutic massage, that's what we're talking about here today. What classes are involved through this if students are interested in, in, in going through the program? The classes that our uh, diploma massage students will take are uh, you know, it's theory and practice, anatomy and physiology, pathology, kinesiology. They do a hydrotherapy class where they'll actually learn how to do body wraps on, on clients. And then we do have some professional development courses that help students kind of brush up on interview skills and then also resume writing. I may touch on this with Kayla a little bit as well, but what, what, what type of schedules do you have for students that are interested in classes here? Because as you know, it's a busy world. We have parents out there and people want to come in and take classes, but their schedules aren't always as flexible. Exactly. We try to you know, make our schedule as flexible as possible. We have uh, morning and evening uh, classes. Uh, morning classes meet from 9 to 1, uh, Monday through Thursday, and then evening from 6 to 10, uh, Monday through Thursday as well. And then we do have some uh, afternoon and weekend courses. And you do try to provide a campus experience here. So what services are available to students that come? The services, we have a dedicated uh, director of career development and student services. And part of her job is to help students that may be struggling with some of the classes to line them up with some tutoring. Uh, she also helps students uh, while they're in the program and after they complete the program if they need assistance finding part-time work or uh, full-time work once they uh, finish. Yeah, well, you brought me to my next question because I want to talk about the opportunities out there because I know there's people wondering about the opportunities in this field of massage therapy. What are you, what are you seeing right now? In the last 10 years, it's really changed. Uh, before, you know, it would always be just uh, spas and uh, you know, salons and then massage clinics. Now we're starting to see graduates starting to work with chiropractors and chiropractic clinics, uh, working alongside physicians in the hospitals, and, uh, and we see a lot more wellness centers opening up too. Yeah, and that's the therapeutic part because it's not just for people who want to come in and get a feel-good massage. Uh, there's medical reasons for this too. Kayla, let's talk about the hands-on experiences that you've had here. Uh, what's it been like? Because you don't just you're not just in the textbooks all the time. You're working hands-on. No, uh, clinic is our hands-on portion of the program, um, which is actually what I'm doing today. We get to create our own schedule, and um, during our first two classes, we learn actually the skills of what we use in clinic, and then from there, we just build on. So it's a really great experience. Like, you get to use your own techniques. You get to build on those techniques. Yeah, well, you're talking about clinic. You're getting ready to go to clinic, and that's right. why you've got your scrubs on today. So talk about your day. What's it look like today? Um, today I'm not too busy. I have uh, two and a half hours. I'm here until 1.30. So you can, like I said, you can schedule yourself like whatever hours you can work. Um, you just have to get 45 by the end of the term. Yeah, I was talking to President Carper about the opportunities available on campus. Uh, what, what do you participate in and what opportunities do you see out there? Um, well, we have student council, which I'm a part of. Um, there's a lot that deals with that. Uh, we just had our summer picnic. Uh, so Hy-Vee came and catered and we just like all the graduates were invited, all current students, all new students. And so we just kind of like it was just a fun time, like everyone got together. Yeah, And off campus too, people, people gather together off, off campus. Right, off campus um, we have a uh, student council puts on things about every month and it's just us students and we go out and we have like karaoke or we have movie night. Like, it's just a lot of fun for students to get together and make new friends. All right. So you're about six months into this program. You've got about another six months left or so, right? Yeah. So you've got to be getting excited. Uh, what's been your favorite part of this experience so far in the last six months? Uh, my favorite experience was uh, we do community service as well for clinic. Mm -hmm. And so we went to Quality Living, and that's a brain and spinal court 
institute um, for people with special needs and it's just it's been like so rewarding getting to work with them and like like the, just like the smile on their face after you get done massaging mm -hmm. them is just so rewarding yeah so. yeah it is Steve I want to talk about something uh, very important to the school here and important to our viewers out there who may be interested in coming to check this place there's an open house coming uh, the first open house uh, starts tomorrow you want to talk about that and what our viewers are going to be able to come in and see yeah, during our open house, we just it's uh, from 10 to 2 tomorrow, and uh, you can just come in and ask questions, any questions about the program, uh, about our schedule. Uh, we also have, uh, you know, if you have financial aid questions, we'll have a uh, financial aid officer available to, to be able to field some of those questions, you know, just to make sure that it is something that's affordable also. Yeah, as we take a look at the details, as the open house is tomorrow, it's also Thursday, Friday and Saturday of next week. Uh, are the hours fairly similar to that? Yeah, it'd be the same hours from 10 to 2, uh, all three of those days as well. Fantastic. It's the Omaha School of Massage and Healthcare of Herzing University. If you want to come to the open house, come check it out. Like I said, it's tomorrow. Uh, it's next Thursday. It's next Friday. It's next Saturday. And Kayla, are you going to be participating in, in the open house? Are you going to swing by and see what's going on? Definitely. Yeah. Will you be, will you be working? Uh, probably, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, and real quick, um, you know, there's, there's career opportunities here uh, for schooling, but there's also, if you just want to come in and mm -hmm. if you want to get a massage, how does that work? Because really? people can come in. There's, uh, there's a whole list of massage rates and different um, uh, massage therapy. Uh, there's a couple's massage. There's a licensed therapist, uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. So how does that work? Yeah, basically, they just need to call our number and uh, just schedule an appointment. We do take walk-ins, but uh, a lot of times we do fill up pretty quick, so it's best to call about a day in advance. Fantastic. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, and good luck to you. Stopping Another by. six months in the program. <laughs> yep. All right. Like, Mary, one, how's it sound? You, you need to stop in here. By. Get yourself a massage. I love how you thanked them for stopping by when they, they were already there. You're the one who stopped by. I'm used to saying that. Hey, why do you got to bring funny. that up? That was like seven minutes ago. Why do you funny. have to bring that up no, again? You just said it again. Just got to give you a hard time, Mike, <laughs> even when you're out of the studio. Thank you. But, but I caught myself right away. I said, well, thanks for letting us come in. So. Uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> good to see you.